Hey guys, and today I'm going to be making a tag video, and it's called the... That would happen. It's called the Be Who You Want tag. The Be You tag, not the Be Who You Want tag. Oh my god, so self centered I know. Anyways, the tag is created by her. Her name is Jessica, and her channel is Be Who You Want 92, and uh, I will put her channel name down below if you guys want to go check it out. And her, there's only 10 questions to this tag. She created it. And I know this because she tells me in the video. So. <clears throat> anyone that wants to do this tag should do this tag. I'm not going to tag anyone because. Honestly, I don't know who to tag. I ain't got really no one to tag. So. <clears throat> the first question is, what is the most inspirational thing you have ever heard or seen? Well. I've gone over this and I don't there isn't really something that just popped out at me that I remember just being like that's it it's the most inspirational thing I've ever seen in my entire life like oh my god but uh, something I do think is really inspirational to me at least is she believed she could so she did I think I want to get this tattooed on like my foot or something because it just makes me think that when people are behind you, you can do it. When people aren't behind you, you can do it. And even when you think you can't, you can. It, it's. I feel like it's such a feminist quote, feministist quote. But uh, that is definitely not a word. But I, I don't know. I don't know. But yeah, she believed she could, so she did. The next question is, who inspires you the most in life? Now, um, I'm not saying this is the only person that's ever inspired me in my life, but this is the person I think about when I think about living a happy life, how I want to live when I'm older and all that stuff well I hate my great-grandmother's name's Evelyn and uh, she sadly passed away in March of 2013 but honestly she's who I think about when I think about the definition of happiness I know she wasn't happy all the time but she laughed at the little things and she loved her family and she owned a farm that she loved and she had a husband and she had her kids and grandkids and she just showed you that life was too short not to be happy and she just she just inspires me the most because I just think about how how would grandma want it how grandma think about this and I just think it's good to try and at least be happy in life even if you're not because life's too short to be unhappy all the time the third question, guys, I'm blind as a bat, so that's why I'm looking. Number three, what is something you don't like about yourself, and how can you make it a positive thing? So, the one thing I do not like about myself is my weight. I got me some jiggle jiggle, and um, I have like, you guys can't see it, but I have stretch marks everywhere. They're on my arms, they're on my stomach, they're everywhere. Like, I have stretch marks all over my body. And I just grew super fast and I gained so much weight super fast and I really don't like how much I weigh but what, what, was, what was it how do I make it a positive thing um, one way that I can make it a positive thing is to show people that you can be happy in your skin even though um, you weigh more than the average person or you're obese or you're overweight I can just show people that yeah, I'm overweight, but I'm happy to live in it this way. Um, I'm not unhealthy, if that makes sense. Like, most people think of overweight or obese as unhealthy. Like, I'm not unhealthy. I'm healthy. I'm just perfectly fine. I have nothing wrong with me. I have no health conditions at all. But I would just like to fit into society standards and just be, be like, weigh like 100 pounds less, and that'd be great. <laughs> Um, what is my best quality? Honestly, oh my god. I think when I, okay guys, this is not, oh my god. Okay guys, my best quality is, well, what I think my best quality is is that I'll tell the truth even if it hurts you. Now that might sound really rude to some people, but like, if I can't be honest with you, then there's no point in 
like talking to me because I just want to be honest with you and if you think you look fat in that outfit I'm gonna tell you if you ask me do I look fat in this outfit I'm gonna be like honey you look fat in that outfit <laughs> like I honestly expect the same from my friends like when I'm having just a bad ugly day they gotta be like honey you looking ugly today you need to you need to fix it like come on just fix it I just I think that quality is that I tell the truth and I don't know, I just, I think I'm good at telling the truth. <clears throat> Five, what is something other people pick on you for or don't like about you? How do you respond? <clears throat> I know this and I get picked on quite frequently about this. Not that I care, but my guinea pigs. Everyone, they're like, oh, how are your guinea pigs doing? Or, Oh, do you want to go home and play with your guinea pigs? Or, oh, you give your guinea pigs kisses? And I'm just like, bye Felicia. <laughs> like, I love my guinea pigs. Like, I have no problem admitting that I probably like them more than I like you. But, oh, and I don't mean like you as in the person watching this video. I just mean like people that make these comments towards me. Like, it just, it's kind of fun annoying to like have people like be like, well, I don't like animals and I don't like your guinea pigs and I don't like rats and I don't like, it's just, like, I'm not a fan of rats, okay? I'm definitely not a fan of rats, but you don't have to, like, put down my animals because you don't want, like, guinea pigs, preferably. Like, I had a, I had a friend, she's like, well, I would never hold your guinea pigs because I don't like them. And I was like, well, good, because they'd bite you if you held them anyways. Because guinea pigs, you know, if you like them or if you don't like them, like, they can tell. And I don't care if you don't like them, but I like them, so whatever. And... I also think that being an animal lover, you're a caring and compassionate person, and you can't, until you actually like love something, like not love another human, but like, now I gotta try getting this, okay, good enough for me, I don't care, bye Felicia, until you love another thing, like not another human, which I already said, but until you love an animal, or you love a collection or you love lipstick or you love until you actually love something like love love something you're not gonna understand what it's like to care about something so much and I don't know I just it's kind of frustrating to have people be like well guinea pigs are gross guinea pigs are nasty like honestly they're not nasty and they're not gross and yes this is my opinion uh, but again, you think I'm gross, you think I'm nasty too, but, like, I take showers. What's so nasty about me? Please tell me. Tell me what is nasty. So, yeah. <clears throat> Six. What do you, what do others say is my best quality? Um, I get from a lot of people that I'm funny, or that I can make them laugh a lot. Just, like, by the way I talk, like, if someone says something to me, I'm like, what'd you just say? And they'll be like, oh, well, I said this. And I was like, oh, well, why did you say that? Did I say something that you wanted to hear? Because I don't know if I said what you said, but I think you said what I said. <sighs> and, like, I don't know why I'm funny. I don't think I'm funny, but apparently a lot of other people think I'm funny. And they they just, they, they constantly laugh at it when I'm talking. And I'm like, well, bye. <clears throat> Question number seven. Is there anything you do to keep your confidence up? Hmm. Keeping my confidence up. You know, it's really weird when I think about this because when I think about how I care about my weight so much, I think about how I can wear makeup all the time and I could like try my best. Like apparently big girls try dressing nicely and they do with their makeup and like they have to look a certain way because they are overweight and they have to like look this way. That's not, that's not the case with me, like, I will go to school with my glasses on and I'll put my hair in a ponytail and I will wear my jeans I'll wear some ugly shirt that's got some stains on it because I just, I don't care, like, I don't need anyone else's reassurance that I'm perfect, because <laughs> I know I'm not perfect, but I know that I'm not the worst person ever, if that makes sense, so... My confidence is just who I am. Oh, another thing, I saw a video the other day, a girl said not wearing makeup is like making a statement about 
wearing makeup and I was like what I don't know it I don't know it's just a weird and I'm like <clears throat> what is your best advice on how to deal with negativity you know you'd really hope that there was an answer to this question you'd really hope that you could just tell someone something and it could work for everyone and it'd make everyone feel better to just like ignore everyone that's mean to them and rude to them and but the thing is there isn't just one thing that you have to do and it, it doesn't work for everyone for me when people call me fat like yeah um I don't feel good about it but I also have a boyfriend telling me I love you and you're beautiful and I miss you I have my guinea pigs here cuddle with me <laughs> and um, I have parents that care about me and I have close friends that I rely on and it's just those are my things that I use to like cope with negativity but there are many other things people use to cope with negativity some people use food some people use bullying which is never a good idea a lot of people use YouTube to deal with like a lot of the negativity and with YouTube yes there is a lot of hate that gets thrown towards you but you I think you expect it from YouTube and not from or you expect it more on the internet than you do in person which is kind of sad but yeah you just need to find something you want and stick to it <clears throat> what is the best compliment you have ever received it's really weird when I think about this question because I think about how this could be very vain and self-centered question or how I can answer very vain and self-centeredly but um, I think the best compliment that I've ever received was when I started working at Pizza Hut um, disclosure disclo disclosure disclosure Disclosure. Disclosure. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, anyways, I no longer work at Pizza Hut, just so everyone knows. <laughs> I have a new job, but that's a different video if you want to know about it. But um, when I worked at Pizza Hut, there's this lady there. Her name was Sheila, and I didn't know Sheila like at all. I talked to her like one time, and I had been working there for a couple weeks, and I started doing a really good job, apparently. And she came over to me one day, um, and she's like, um, if all kids had worth work, no, if all kids had work ethics like you, then there wouldn't be a need for adults anymore. And I don't, I feel like that's one of the best compliments I've ever received because it's like telling me that I'm a hard worker and I'm so young, but I do it so much better than a lot of people. And I just, it made me feel really good because. I don't care a lot of people tell me, oh, well, you're a great worker. You're like, it would feel nice to hear that for a chance when I wasn't expecting it, especially from her. Okay, guys, so the last question um, on this is, it's not even a question, but it says, say something inspirational. Something inspirational. I think something that's true that we should live by more often is that no one else makes your happiness you make your own happiness and if you're not happy with the way you're living right now then change it no one else can change it for you so basically your life's in your hands and you have to do whatever you need to do to fix it so yeah i hope you guys had a great day i hope you enjoyed this video if you like this video then comment like all that fun stuff 